Welcome back. And the government ministers are returning to Egypt to take over negotiations at this year's UN climate talks, providing diplomats with the political backing they need to clinch credible agreements that would help prevent disastrous levels of warming in the coming years. And on this and the significance of COP27, we're glad to be joined over the phone by Dr. Noura Mashour, political and strategic management expert and graduate of the Presidential Leadership program. Good afternoon, Dr. Noura. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. Well, uh, Egypt was able to dazzle the whole world uh, since uh, once more by organizing COP27. Now, as one of COP27 organizers, would you tell us more about the event and the, the organization? Okay, the United Nations Climate Summit are held every year for governments to agree steps to limit global temperature raises. They are referred to as a COP, which stands for Conference of the Parties. The parties are the attending countries that sign up the original UN Climate Agreement in 20, uh, 1992. And after many years of uh, significant work of, uh, on countering climate change, Egypt was officially selected to host the UN Climate Change Conference under His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, and the preparation of COP27 have taken place since the end of COP26 in Glasgow. And this year, international gathering aimed to establish legally binding commitment for developed countries to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and even focus uh, on urgent and priority issues in African countries in particular, and developing countries in general. Uh, what's the significance of youth participation in your opinion? Uh, the Egyptian government uh, exerted a lot of efforts over uh, the past uh, 11 months to uh, prepare for COP27 and to raise the awareness of participating, uh, participating youth and engage them to COP27 in effective and organized way due to the important role of youth in climate action and engaging um, youth in decision-making process and importance of the role of youth in finding real solutions to the climate crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, how, from your point of view, can youth participation be a part of the uh, COP27 success? Uh, as I mentioned, the importance to raise the awareness uh, of youth uh, and engage them in COP27. In addition, Egypt the host climate change youth uh, on the sidelines of uh, the session of COP27, which um, uh, uh, of serving as a space for capacity building and policy training in order to prepare young people for their participation in COP27. Yes, well, um, also uh, in addition to youth participation and awareness, uh, we would like to talk more about the importance of uh, awareness, climate change awareness among children. Mm, it's very important raising awareness and therapy, understand of uh, the effects of climate change will facilitate both behavioral uh, change and societal support for action needed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and um, the emergency of renewable efforts on emergency climate change actions uh, has made it more important ever to engage children with uh, environmentalism and sustainability uh, topics. So it is uh, very important to equip uh, children with the knowledge and the skills to make a tangible contribution to tackle one of the biggest issues facing the world. Yes. Well, uh, the Ministry of Social Solidarity launched a website to receive volunteering applications uh, from Egypt and African countries. Uh, they asked for 1,000 volunteers, but they received 9,900 volunteers. What's your take on this? Um, Egypt is a unique model in uh, volunteering work uh, through uh, investing in people, developing human resources, and uh, upholding social uh, participation. And the ministry is working hard to establish an independent database for, for uh, volunteers 
through which door to volunteering will be open to all ages and groups. Mm. Well, uh, the ministry uh, provided the uh, accepted applicants with the necessary skills. How far developing human potential essentially creates a path towards the sustainable well-being of people, in your opinion? Um, according to uh, the State of World uh, Volunteerism uh, Report, uh, which is a new and flagship uh, publication uh, issued every three years, explaining the role of uh, volunteerism in peace and developing uh, the fourth edition of the report mentions that building equal and inclusive societies represents new evidence of the role of uh, volunteerism in promoting sustainable development. Yes. Well, uh, various, uh, various agreement or agreements rather were uh, signed during COP27 so far. Uh, what are the most important agreements signed uh, during uh, the uh, COP27 days, in your opinion? Uh, ahead of the agreements, the countries were asked to submit national climate plans, and uh, COP27 has been focusing on the main uh, areas which is reducing emissions, uh, helping countries to prepare for and deal with climate change, uh, securing uh, technical support and funding for developing uh, countries. For the above, some areas not fully uh, resolved and or covered as COP26, uh, which already picked up in COP27, which are lost and damaged finance. Uh, money to help countries recover from the effects of climate change rather than just prepare uh, for it and also establishing a global carbon market to price the effects and, uh, of emissions into products and services globally. And finally, strengthen the commitment to reduce coal use. Uh, also, uh, senior uh, officials from several Government, the UN Environment uh, Program, a new and UN framework convention on uh, climate change, launched a new five years work uh, program at COP27 to promote uh, climate uh, technology solutions in developing countries to accelerate the uh, deployment of transformative climate technologies that are required to tackle uh, climate change. Yes, well, uh, Egypt has taken many steps uh, to transform to a green economy. Now, would you tell us more about uh, these focusing on environment-friendly projects uh, implemented in various fields so far here in Egypt? Uh, okay, uh, green economy is meant to achieve sustainable development uh, while observing environmental standards and reducing environmental impacts. And it has many uh, significant benefits, including promoting uh, economic growth opportunities and elevating poverty and expanding investment opportunities. And now many countries have recently started taking uh, a very great step that would help them to make the transition to a great economy. And now Egypt uh, moved to green economy by implementing several uh, green projects uh, and uh, at make use of renewable, uh, clean, and efficient energy. Uh, to what end? Um, uh, uh, 14% of the total public investment in general budget of the year 2020 2021 has been uh, allocated for these projects to implement around uh, 691 green projects. Yes. Well, uh, Egypt has issued the first offering of green bonds with a value of 750 million U.S. dollars. What are the green bonds and uh, how does this help with the issue of fighting uh, climate change? Uh, Egypt uh, issued the 750 million dollar of green bonds in global market as step to qualify Egypt to be the first country in Middle East and North Africa to have issued these bonds, and this step was aimed to providing uh, funding for eco-friendly projects and 
encouraging clear energy investment in the region in many fields such as housing, uh, clear transport, uh, transportation, re uh, renewable energy, uh, sustainable management of water resources and other projects and containing a climate change impact. Yes, well, uh, uh, how far would launching these uh, climate bonds uh, encourage the private sector to invest in green projects and what are the incentives uh, the state present to encourage the private sector to implement these clean energy projects? Uh, climate, uh, climate bonds have highlight, uh, highlighted six of uh, 17 sustainable development goals uh, when posting green investment and development in green bonds market and provide direct benefits in uh, devel uh, developing countries. Moreover, uh, green bonds help in achieving uh, objectives for the Paris Agreement and also uh, green uh, bonds uh, motivate the demand for sustainable products, increasing there is also a growing need for ethical uh, cooperative uh, operations and increasing number of investors. Also, the capacity to fund the green initiative without sacrificing liquidity or credit risk, which is very important. And in addition to that, investment and environmental goals are being combined. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, renewable energy sources represent 20% of the energy mix and the country is working on increasing it to reach 42%. Now, how could that be achieved and what are the country's plans to uh, press forward with this? Um, the 2035 integrated uh, energy strategy, which builds on a uh, British strategy, emphasizes the importance for renewable energy. Egypt attempts to increase the supply of electricity generated uh, from uh, resources when, uh, when uh, providing uh, for 14% uh, uh, hydropower uh, for 2% two, uh, two, uh, uh, two and solar, uh, which 25% by uh, 2035. Moreover, uh, Egypt is showing interest in green hydrogen technology to generate uh, ele uh, electric power for vehicles and posting uh, Egyptian production of renewable energy as Egypt has topped uh, Egypt, uh, Arab countries in number of projects related to production and use of hydrogen. Uh, there are nine hydrogen projects in Egypt, fi uh, five for green uh, hydrogen one for green ammonia and two for uh, blue uh, ammo uh, hydrogen and one for uh, blue ammonia. Mm -hmm. uh, do you believe that the gr a Green New Deal will pave the way for the coming generations to use the national resources and to enhance sustainability? Uh, for sure, as the key uh, uh, focus areas of uh, the Green New Deal were uh, around decarbonization, the economy, uh, through uh, the phasing out of fossil fuel and move to 100% to renewable energy. Also, the resolution aimed to fix societal issues such as economic inequality, poverty and injustice, and to invest uh, in infrastructure to sustainability meet the need of future generations. Mm -hmm.